Uh, and welcome the YouTube audience back for what is CLG FC episode, I believe 107 is going to be this episode. Um, I'm actually in the process of uploading uh, 94.1. <laughs> so it shows you how far behind I've been on uh, just uploading the VODs. And I've uploaded a lot over the last few days. Like I, I got um, over the last two weeks, just in the month of September, right? I uploaded what? Four episodes of CLG FC, three Unreal Tournament videos, another two, another two. So that's six and five, seven and five, seven and six. I've uploaded eight videos of CLG FC and six Unreal Tournament videos. And I still have a library of videos to get uploaded. So uh, we're a little bit behind on the uploads, but it is what it is. Uh, well, I'll probably punch through them. Over the course of the weekend, tomorrow, maybe a lot. Uh, maybe just start uploading them and scheduling them for release. That might be better, but we'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> that is where I'm at with the uploads. YouTube, oh, my YouTube channel. I should make that a command. You're really, that's a good point. Hang on. Let me work on that right now. Give me a second. Where the fuck did I put that tab? Here we go. Uh, your channel. I'm going to make that a command right now. Right, right meow. All stream VODs are, can be found here. There you go. And I'm also going to make a little Y2, YT. So that if they if they do YouTube or they do YT, there you go. But yeah, any episodes that are missed, any streams that are missed, they're uploaded on YouTube. Uh, and it's not edited, man. It's the pure vibe. The only thing you don't get is the music we play. Uh, obvious reasons. It's not even saved in the uh, VODs for the uh, Twitch. Uh, Heidenheim is in the US, UEFA Champions League spots. Frank Schmidt should go to a new club. I don't know, man. He's got it well. He's got it well there. Sometimes the grass isn't always greener. Um, <clears throat> Manchester Saints Athletics, Stokonians. Burns from the spot in the 12th. Gave Manchester Saints Athletic a 1-0 lead at the half. Pike in the 65th. And Ryder, four minutes later, put them 3-0 up before Burns in the 87th. Uh, made it 4-0, Manchester Saints Athletics. Two minutes prior to that, Hassanoff for Staconians was sent off with a straight red card. Um, and we wound up, uh, or I should say Manchester Saints, our ground-sharing partners, wound up 4-0 winners. That pulls them out of relegation. Manchester Saints jumped to t ninth. Burskov Dynamo dropped to 10th on goal difference. And it puts Dern and District under 21s back in the drop they did win over the weekend <clears throat> but the goal difference is not good enough to get them out of relegation so that is very tight at the bottom we are 10 clear with 10 to play at the top so you almost feel like there's a six goal in this somewhere the way these teams have been playing that stayed in <clears throat> Six minutes of added time is kind of, it's, there's time for Everton, <clears throat> but you're right. Three, two Bournemouth. And that's a game they should have won. You know what I mean? Like Villa, at least in this case had pulled one back before the half, right? So you're going into the half two, one, like this Villa side's totally, it's totally possible. They could level the score. You know what I mean? And then they leveled it so early in the second half, you're looking at it like the outcome of this game, you know, you're 65 minutes in or whatever, and it's 2-2, and you're like, the outcome of this game isn't decided yet. It's not like the Bournemouth situation where it 100% should have been Everton's three points. I mean, even if it wasn't their three points, they should have gotten something out of it. <laughs> and the fact that they didn't get anything out of it is like inexcusable, really. But 
I don't know. Everton are really, really, really poor this year. They mentioned it on the broadcast prior here, at least prior to uh, the game starting that the biggest concern is the defense seems to ship goals. And that's exactly what they've done in this game is ship goals. They got a good dangerous free kick here. We got our weekly meeting. Oh, uh, let's go into our weekly meeting here. Individual training for McKendy. Stop training for these two. You have him on ball control training. You have him on positioning training. Uh, remind me in a month. When you want him to start diving into tackles, move on. I'm not going to have him dive into tackles. He's the last line of defense. We're not going to have that happen. So, there you go. We're going to have leagues in focus coming up. We've got 12 days to go until the fixture. That's against Chesterton. I don't think we get through all 10 games today, but I'd like to see if we can get through 6-7, to seven, I would say, and set us up for the end of the season, right? Uh, or just get us close to the end of the season. So, we are going to be streaming tomorrow as well. I'm going to see if Tiki Taka want to chill on a Sunday. We'll see. But anyway. <clears throat> Bill now, now lead 3-2. Everton have hit the bar along the way. Anyway. <laughs> so, leagues in focus. Look at that. Leagues in focus. Uh, and it parks is out today. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. That's not a big issue. Um, let's do leagues in focus. Uh, we've got... Um, the San Jose Earthquakes beating the Montreal Impact. And it means they are the four-time MLS Cup winners. 2001, 2003, those were the Donovan years. They waited 22 years after that to win a cup in 2025. They've won it in 2028 as well. So four times San Jose Earthquakes are the MLS Cup champion. Uh <clears throat> who's, the, who's won it the most? Uh, I think it's still LA Galaxy. I think they have six in this game now. Five, six. They have seven now. Wow. So. But they're, they're your champion, San Jose Earthquakes. In the Premier League, <clears throat> Newcastle top by goal difference over Liverpool by eight goals. Man City are third, Arsenal fourth, Villa fifth, Man United sixth, Spurs are seventh, uh, Chelsea down in eighth, I'm sorry, Brentford are eighth, Chelsea down in ninth, my beloved West Ham are twelfth, and at the bottom, Southampton and Leeds are five clear of the drop, Sunderland clear of the drop by seven goals and a goal difference over Forest, who have lost four straight, Burnley are winless in five, a point adrift. Norwich still haven't won a game 15 games into the season. And they are six points adrift at the bottom of the table in 20th. Um, <clears throat> Skybet Championship. Palace lead the league by four points over Wolverhampton Wanderers, who are above the playoff places by one goal in the goal difference over Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield United, West Bromwich, Albion, Rotherham United also take up the playoff places. Bristol City outside looking in. By one goal in the goal difference. Coventry City, Watford, and Luton Town all point on the outside looking in as well. That is it. Villas come from behind to beat Everton 3-2. Final whistle just went. Um, which means I can get my stream up on my on my phone now. So I don't have to constantly alt-tab back to see my, uh, my chat, which is nice. Um, at the bottom, Reading. 
and QPR are three points above the drop over Huddersfield Town in 22nd. Carter for four adrift in 23rd. Darby County now five adrift down in 24th. Skybet League one. Millwall lead the league by a point over Swansea City, who are nine points clear of the playoff places, which include Stoke City, Salford City, uh, Wimbledon, and Preston North End. Plymouth Argyle are a point on the outside looking in. At the bottom of that table, um, whoo, man, look at this. Jesus. Cambridge in 16th are two points clear of the drop. Wrexham, Stockport County, Sheltonham Town, and Burton Albion are all above the drop only on goal difference over Forest Green Rovers. Oh, I didn't mean to hit this. I just brushed the space bar. Uh... Uh, over Forest Green Rovers and Wickham Wanderers, who all have level points. So literally 17th through 22nd are all level in points. Wickham winless in their last five. So are Wrexham, by the way. And Cambridge United, to be fair to them as well. Um, Burton Albion unbeaten in their last five. Walsall is... Uh, Literally five consecutive draws. They're two points adrift in 23rd. Chesterfield, three adrift at the bottom of Skybet League 1. Skybet League 2, I'm going to take a, have to take a snip of that later. Skybet League 2, Tranmere Rovers are eight points clear of Shrewsbury Town and the rest of the league. Rochdale lead the playoff places by a point over Crawley Town. Barrow, Newport County, and Milton Keynes. Colchester United are point outside looking in. At the bottom of the table... Port Vale and Doncaster Rovers are a point above the drop over Ultracham, who've pulled themselves out of the drop. Uh, Grimsby Town now in the drop. having have They haven't won in five games, uh, but only by goal difference. Below Ultracham by a goal in the goal difference. Accrington Stanley are five points adrift at the bottom of Sky Bet League 2. They haven't won a game either. <clears throat> Sitting in 24th. Vanderbilt National, uh, AFC filed 49 points. They are three clear of York City. Uh, so York City had led the league for the opening 22 weekends, but now it's AFC filed to lead the league uh, with, uh, what should we call it, uh, a three-point lead over York City, Sully Hill Moors, South End United, Scunthorpe United, South Shields, and Kidderminster Harriers. Bromley and Dorchester Town, two points on the outside looking in. At the bottom of the table, it is uh, AFC Sudbury and Sutton United, who are too clear of the drop over Macclesfield and uh, Barnett are four adrift in 22nd. Hartlepool United are nine adrift in 23rd. They haven't won in five games. Ebbs Fleet United are 13 adrift in 24th at the foot of the Vanarama National. The league directly above us, Old Man Cooney and still lead the way over Kate Catton United by a point and Fleecewood Hesketh and Shevington for that matter at the foot of the table. Middleton and Overton Sports are two points clear of the drop over East Manchester who won their last game. So that's their first win of the season. They climb up to five points. Uh, Litherland under, under 18s are three adrift at the bottom in 10th. That's leagues in focus. We're going to continue on. Oh, I meant to take a snip of uh, shit. I meant to take a snip of League One. Uh, stages, right? This is this is because this is fucking crazy. This is absolutely nuts. So, <clears throat> now we we can continue. So. Uh, I'm going to post this table elsewhere. So, oh, that guy, that guy's an idiot. You ever listen to somebody talk and just be like, this guy's an idiot. So. I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down. I hope D-Boy's not listening. I'm sorry, D. I'm sorry, D. I hope you're not listening. Uh, so. <laughs> Being a DJ has ruined this song for him. Absolutely ruined this song for him. So. But um, he says he's had to play it so many times, he's so sick of listening to it. 
We are 10 to go until the fixture. I love the song. I'm like every other person who thinks it's great. Um, so. Okay. So that's the football done for the weekend. Well, for today. I, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> I, um, I watched the West Ham game. Oh, my God. We were fucking terrible. West Ham were, were absolutely crazy. It, it was just... They were so bad. And then they still got a point somehow. I was like, what the fuck? What is this? Oh, it's just an anniversary of Sly Cooper. Okay. I was like, oh, somebody posted something about Sly Cooper. Great game, by the way. This is the anniversary. 20, 20 years already, by the way, for Sly Cooper. I remember that. I remember Jersey Devil, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Dax and Jester, uh, Jack, Jack, uh, uh, Jackson Dexter, sorry. Uh, and my favorite one of those kind of games was probably... Um, Gex, which was a PlayStation series. I mean, in fact, it's not probably. It is Gex, which was a PlayStation series, but um, PlayStation One series, by the way. But um, <clears throat> that was a lot of fun. Ge the Gex games were a lot of fun, uh, and just crazy and over the top. They were just completely over the top, which is awesome. It's like Saints Row, different style of game, Saints Row, but. Saints Row was so over the top. <clears throat> uh, halfway through the season. The, um... The... What was I saying? The Saints Row games were so over the top, but they were so much fun because they were over the top. Like, the fourth... the Saints Row 3 was just crazy fun. But, um... The only part I didn't really like about it is that island that turns into, like, the zombie apocalypse era. Like, I'm... I'm I'm good without any of that. <clears throat> but and when they lock off the I when they like lock off the bridges and stuff, like that gets annoying. But um it still was a really fun game and Saints Row Four was to me a lot of fun because when you start doing all the side quests and it breaks the immersion or that breaks the simulation and you get people showing up with leg instead of the people showing up with like regular anatomy they have like a leg sticking out where the head should be or their head's like this size and the body's like this size and stuff it's just it's crazy fun uh Saints Row 4 is great i i i beat Saints Row 3 i never actually played through Saints Row 4 and I probably should at some point. Um, I probably should. I definitely should. In fact, I think Saints. I think that might be an offline thing. I start is Saints Row Four, because uh, I haven't played it. I mean, when's the last time you even played the Saints Row games? So the new one I heard isn't very good. Saints Row Two was too. Saints Row 2 was good, but it was too much like a GTA rival. Like, it just tried too much to be, uh, um, like GTA, you know, in my opinion, or at least. Saints Row 3, it's definitely on here in my library somewhere. Saints Row 2, I played... It's been fucking 12 years since I played Saints Row 2. It's been 8 years since I played Saints Row 3. <clears throat> it's been 9 years since I played Saints Row 4. Oh my god. Has it really been that long? It's been that long? Fuck, man. I I should pick him up again. Um, it's one of those things where I used to come home and play it and like look forward to playing it when I was working at that time. You know? Uh or wherever I was working at that time. That made it sound like I'm not working right now. But wherever I was working at the time. Like, Jet Set had that kind of same thing for me. Jet Set Radio. I was like, Jet Set Radio Future especially. I was like, I remember pausing the game, going to work. Because I had a half a shift up the corner. 
So I remember on a Saturday pausing the game, walking up the corner, working my half shift, coming home, unpausing the game, and running through the rest of the game that evening. So uh, that was a great game. Jet Set Radio Future was a great, great game. Um, I know they came out with Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. I, I haven't bought it. I haven't played it. I definitely should. Take a look at it at least. I've seen a stream of it. But I've not actually looked into playing it myself. And I, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger on it. Because it, there was a moment in time if you would ask me about it. You know, a year or two before it came out. That's all it would do. I'd be like, oh, I'm looking forward to that game so much. I can't wait, blah, 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 blah. And now I'm like, do I really want to buy it? Like, it's, I'm like, I can't believe it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I will. Maybe I'll, I'll bite the bullet one day and buy it. Uh, I definitely know the next game I'm going to buy is Dale and Dawson Stationery Supplies. Uh, we talked about that last night, but, um, there's a few I would want, like, uh, what do you call it? Probably that. I might even buy the new Saints Row game. The newer Saints Row. It's not really new anymore, to be fair. But the newer Saints Row game. Just to give it a try. Because I don't really... I'm never the kind of person who trusts a lot of other people's opinions about something. I need to, ha I need to have an experience with it myself to judge it one way or another. You know? So. I've always been that way. Um... And I, I don't know. So that that's that's like a double-edged sword. Sometimes it's really good because you'll enjoy something that a lot of other people did didn't wind up enjoying, and sometimes you'll hate it just as much as other people do, and you probably should have listened to their advice. So it's like, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't know what other the way to be. I'm not the kind of guy who knows any other way to be. To be honest with you, um, we are down to eight days to go. I don't. It's we record. Oh, record low. Lowest league position confirmed. Rip. Uh, the West Ham have beaten Forest. That's a good win for West Ham. West Ham coming on a little bit now that they picked up a new manager. Three wins from four. That's pretty good. Uh, they're gonna be they're gonna be fine. We're getting these recommendations because it's getting close to the transfer window opening, which <clears throat> is gonna be a pain. Uh, what's the storyline? Uh, under 18's triumph. Does Cunningham is impressive? Troseth from the spot in the 17th. Cunningham in the 33rd. Butters puts it in his own net in the four, in stoppage time at the end of the first half. There was no action in the second half. Uh, we run out a 3-0 victory over Weldstone under 18. Who have no fans? Um, we are still five within five of Dulwich Hamlet, who have a game in hand um, in the under 18. So under 18s are doing well. They had a really rocky start, but they're doing they're doing fairly well now. So. Uh... Uh, where is it? Uh, <clears throat> I was posting this this screenshot of uh, this screenshot of the League One table, but I I I realize I have like freaking twenty discords. I'm gonna wind up posting this in, so. <clears throat> I'll be nice. I was going to say, CG, I I posted in... Oh, God, I got injured. No, well, that's nice. I'm suspended anyway for the next game. Um, I posted in, I think it's Bizarre's Discord, that uh, the goal that Duran scored for Villa today was an absolute fucking screamer of a goal. 
And CG was like, stop run rubbing it in. And I, part of me was like, I'm not. It's just fat. But then I'm like, you know what? I would be just as pissed as him as if we were bottom of the league, in all honesty. Because I do remember the year that we were bottom of the league. And I was fucking angry at everyone and everything football related that year. So you know what? I get it. I totally, totally get it. Um, but <clears throat> it, it becomes... You definitely go through... Uh, all of the stages, right? Like acceptance, anger, blame, <laughs> or not in that order, obviously, right? For denial, acceptance, or denial, anger, blame, all that stuff, right? When Whenever your club is bottom of the league. I, I would say that year that we finished bottom, which I think was 2010, maybe? 20, it was either the 9 10 or the 10 11 year. Um, I want to say it was the 10, 11 year. Cause I think 11, 12 was when we won the championship playoff and came back up. And I think 12, 13 was the first year we were back up and we finished 10th. We knocked off Chelsea. Motibo Maiga scored one of his only goals. He only had like two or three goals for West Ham. And I remember he scored a goal against Chelsea in that fixture years ago so <clears throat> great song uh, there we go One more. we've got six to go Chesterton are very firmly planted in the mid-table in seventh. Then we've got relegation candidates, Dernan District under-21s, who are sitting in 11th. And then we got the big one versus Norcross. So we're going to get to that one today. Uh, Rushford Park are a real tricky side. Uh, currently in the mid-table as well. I believe they might be like sixth. Um, uh, <clears throat> I, they're... they're they're going to be a tricky side. Staconians are up there fighting. I think they're like fifth. Um, they might no. I think they're third. I think Staconians are actually third. So that's our next five games because I think Walmer Bridge is fourth if I remember correctly. It might be Einsdale that are fourth. Let's look now that we're here. Uh, Staconians are third. Walmer Bridge is fourth. Einsdale's fifth. Trafford's sixth. Chesterton seventh. Rushford Park is eighth. So our next five is. 7th, 11th, 2nd, 8th, uh, and 3rd. And those are our next five. So, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, people? How was the football today, man? Did you guys play? I, I, uh, I, I think you played, but it wasn't streamed, right? So... Uh, Cod, Codder, no, that Codder is the team, uh, games, right? Uh, oh my God, why is it not loading? Uh, you play tomorrow, okay. Uh, 7.45 in the morning against Nanternbach. Uh, so most games are canceled because of rain for several days now. Really? <clears throat> uh, did I tell you guys to? Okay, remind me in a month, please. Yes, he could. He should 100% be shooting from long range. Um, but it's raining now since Thursday. Wow. You know what the crazy thing is? We haven't gotten rain in 10 days. We've had not a single drop. We were supposed to have two inches of rain for the month of September. Granted, it is the 14th, so about halfway through. We have had 16 one hundredths of an inch. So we have had literally no rain for, I mean, it's rained one day in September out of the 14th so far. And it's not raining until at least Tuesday, which is great. I love summer. See, everyone's like, oh, fall weather. It's summer. It's not fall yet. It's summer. But, 
it's great. It's been great. There was also no stopping till Monday. That's oh God, that's brutal, man. So pitches aren't draining and and uh, things shits getting waterlogged and oh, that's awful. I'm only out one to two days. That's fine. I'm suspended the next game anyway. <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna tick down to four to go. So. How's, oh my God, Nantrin Bach are the league leaders too. You got the league leaders tomorrow? If that game's not canceled, you got to kick their ass, Fipo. If that game doesn't get canceled, absolutely kick their ass tomorrow. So, <clears throat> uh, there we go. I've got a big ass sneeze coming on. I'm also gonna skip forward ahead of this song, but I got a big ass sneeze coming on. Hold on. It faded. Oh, I fuck. I hate, I hate it when that happens. I had a sneeze come on and then it just faded away. So. It's going to be a pain as well because it's played on AstroTurf. Uh, uh. AstroTurf is not fun, man. It just doesn't... AstroTurf will never beat full grass. You know, natural grass. So... Uh, oh, hooray, our youth intake is nothing but E's. Below average intake, E, 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 F, and absolutely no wing back, so. Great. Looking forward to that. Great, give me the list. I always want the list, Danny. Give me the fucking list, man. Don't deviate from the plan. Because I want to be able to come here and tell you to get rid of these reports. And stop scouting those players. This is this, oh, but ooh, uh, I need a guy. Oh, look at this. He plays striker, right wing, left wing. He plays left back. <clears throat> Adam Fish. He's wanted by Kendalltown, Clitheroe. Uh, He's wanted by Loughborough D, D Loughborough Dynamo, Bishops Cleave. He's wanted by Osset United and Mel's and Bobster. Well, Adam, he's made 193 appearances. He's only 25. He's got 41 career goals. He could improve a lot. I mean, he's the thing is, you say he's going to improve a lot. But he's 25. His development ends in, in a year and a half. But that, this would not be a bad uh, this would not be a bad scalp. Inside forward. He works best as an inside forward. A pressing forward. What about uh, defender left? A wing back, which is what we need. He better than Sean Warner, apparently. On his uh, current ability. His potential, no. But Sean's Solid. We like Sean. Sean Warner is a uh, is a solid guy. So, but how old is Sean Warner? That's the question. Sean is 23, so he can still develop. So, wouldn't be, ba wouldn't be a bad opera. Wouldn't be a bad signing. Honestly, this would not be a bad signing. Adam Fish. What's his What's his attributes like? The only thing he's weakened for striker is concentration. Oh, he'd be great. He'd be a fucking amazing winger at this level. And right, what about left back? Needs some work at left back. Not a lot, but he needs some work at left back. But left winger, right winger, he would be phenomenal at. I don't need a left winger, right winger. I need a, uh, I need a guy like this who can play across the whole back line. Uh, since the subs we can make, since the, the number of subs we can even name to the team sheet is limited, this guy would be fucking, this guy would be a beast at this level. Strength needs a little bit of work, but 
Like, left back, right back. Fuck, man. Who's he wanted by? Shep, Shep said, Haybridge, Seven Oaks, Ben Fleet, Stanway, Pegasus. What a name, Stanway, Pegasus. Mel's and Bobster. Current ability is on par with Frack and Ben Brindley. Potential ability is... Oof. Oof. Lack of any real strength hinders physical presence on the pitch. That's We can work on that. Uh, he's fairly poor in the air. What's his jumping reach? His jumping reach is a nine. What's his heading? A five. I uh, I I think we go for it. He played at Farnham Town, which is like fucking seven divisions above us. He made 179 appearances at Farnham Town. And they let him go. Yeah. He'll be a squad player. Uh, we'll allow the player to treat the club as a stepping stone. We'll play in preferred fit position and role. Um, he wants to play as a right back. No. And no. Let's negotiate the contract. Oh, he doesn't want that. Okay. Uh, contract extension after promotion and an optional contract fee. But... If that's the case, let's see what he wants. Oh, he's, he's okay with that. I'm okay with that, too. Working further. <clears throat> okay, we'll see if we can sign him. Uh, West Ham beat Brighton. Shit, West Ham's coming back, man. West Ham are coming back. Four, is that four straight? It's four wins from five. And they're right back in the thick of it again. That's good. They sack their manager. They come straight back. So, we got, we're almost there to the fixture. Again, a reminder, we're taking a lot of leagues out of the game once we get to the end of the season. We should have a lot of the Asian leagues that start at the beginning of the calendar year, like in February, are coming out uh, of the database literally later this month. So, we should be okay there. Um, Ayrton Dempsey pulled his knee ligaments. He's out three to four weeks. No, uh, Oliver's got to see the. He's got to see the physio. We're not giving him injections. Oh man, this is great. This is probably the best best mix. For this uh, for this song. <clears throat> but there you go. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, jump to original message. No, jump to present. There you go. Thank you. Uh, social. Uh, stop. Give me fucking recommendations, man. It's so annoying. We're gonna be two. We're down to two to go. So, do you guys? You guys play tomorrow, right? Well, Arsenal play tomorrow. When, when I mean you guys, yeah, they got the North London derby. That's right, 9 a.m. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, it's insane how tight. I mean, that's halfway through the League One season for um, that relegation battle picture. Like, the fact that there's, what, seven teams on 21 points? Six teams on 21 points. The bottom team is on 18. And the team directly above is on 23. So five points separate 16th from 24th. That's insanely close. Uh, but, the, yeah, the, the relegation battle is almost half the table. That's nuts. Uh, what we got here? Just some match prep. We're going to keep moving on. Keep up moving forward. We got one day to go. Thankfully. So much love to give. <clears throat> one more, one more. <sighs> There's Pico Park 2's coming out. Didn't Pico Park just come out a few years ago? Isn't like, or is Pico Park 2 the game that came out a few years ago? So. <clears throat> Pico Park is a game that after 30 minutes, I don't think I need to play it ever again in, for the rest of my life. Like, it, I, it just, I don't think there's enough there to, to keep my interest. <clears throat> Thank you. Don't need that. Cool. Right, almost in the match day. I gotta load the. Uh, oh, good, they are loaded. All the music we play for the the matches itself. Uh. Oh God. Where is my uh, tab with the YouTube channel up, by the way? Oh, good. Latest VOD is up. 94.1 just went up. So, exclamation point YouTube or exclamation point YT will get you the YouTube channel. There are all of the VODs, all of the previous videos uh, are on the, that YouTube channel. Absolutely everything is on there. Even even the, the old matches we used to play in FM 12, going way back, are back there. But we've moved on to. Uh, I, I never used to do anything with the with my YouTube like at all. And then when I retired from CS, I decided it would be a great place to dump the vods. So we record everything and upload them, upload those vods to YouTube now. Which is awesome. Uh, <clears throat> so those streams can be preserved past 14 days. You can always see how we got to where we are with these saves. It's awesome. We are one to four favorites. Chesterton are 11 to one. The draw is four to one. Under 18's fixture clash. Um, like where? Why can't I select? Like, who's available for the under-18s? Like, I want to be able to say for this match, oh, send myself down to the under-18s because I'm suspended for the main league. So, <clears throat> here's a pre-match press conference. We're going to kick this off with the first question from Jamie Wilson, ITV Sport. Uh, following the league's one Chesterton's 1-1 one -one draw with Trafford, they're currently 7th with 14 points from 12 matches. Uh, Uh, we have a lot of quality too if we can show it we stand a good chance of winning uh, why do you have been so good away from home recently okay um, two questions mate that's it it's like a nothing 
press conference, man. All right, we're going to be ticking over to one to go. And we'll be getting into match day here very, very shortly. All right. Cool. There we go. We're going to tick over. Probably auto save as well. There we go. Match day once again. We are 10 clear. I don't know who Norcross are playing. But hopefully we can get some help again. We did in the last game. They got held by Berskoff Dynamo 1-1. We beat AFC Einsdale 2-1. And now it's Chesterton. <coughs> so. Right. Oh, boy. So, I was looking, I, that's what I meant to do. I was looking at the YouTube to see when we started uploading the VODs. Uh, I did some last year, to be fair, but it was so intermittent. But yeah, right around, right around March, after I retired is when it started. So, and yeah. That's only like that's only the first 170 videos on the channel, so it literally there's like 400 videos of just the old FM exports from when I played FM 12 way back in the day, before I was any ever even anybody. Um, AFC Einsdale versus Southport Einsdale. The Einsdale Derby is the marquee matchup. We're expected to win. That's to be a given. I think I thought I would say that's a given, but. Um, here we are with our match against Chesterton. Let's pause that as we're about to get into it. We're going to finish processing. Well, we're going to get the result versus Macclesfield under 18s, and then we're going to finish uh, processing. So, uh, it's nil nil between Ukraine and Argentina. There we go. That should skip us ahead. There we go. Cool. They're gonna they're about to kick off. I skipped ahead to the second half. Yep. I'm almost done the group stage for the football, actually. That's the crazy part. Football, I'm almost done the group stage in. Field hockey, I'm halfway through the group stage in. Uh, the volleyball, we're getting close to being done the group stage. I think we're done the second round of group stage games. So we said we have a bit to go with the volleyball and the handball as well. The handball, we're, we're, we've made progress, but about halfway to go in that as well. Anyway, there it is. Frack adapts his game to the right wing roll. Uh, wait, oh my, oh my god, Frack, so Frack plays like a shit ton of positions now, that's good, Cookies is ready to attempt long bullet throws, man, we just got another weapon, Logic under 18's win as Crosby impresses, we beat Macclesfield under 18's, uh, try Seth from the spot in the 44th was the only goal of the first half, we went into the break 1-0 up. Eikens in the 52nd put us 2-0 in front before Akubine, Akub, 
Akubuine, sorry, pulled one back 10 minutes later for Macclesfield under 21s. Crosby in the 76 put us back ahead 3-1. Uh, Sandwith in the 88th got another one back for Macclesfield, but Cunningham literally scored a minute later, and we finished 4-2 winners. So up to second in the under-18s league. Eight points back from Dulwich Hamlet still. Which I don't think we're going to catch. But still, <clears throat> we're in second place. There's the marking. Uh, this is, who's my defensive center? Sam Wellman's going to have to come in. Or maybe we bring, we're going to bring in the great Ben Brindley, right? He's 29, Ben. Fuck, man. Sean Warner will come in as well. And that is going to be that. So, everybody's pleased. Oh, what a shot. Oh, my God. What a goal. What a goal. Tiago Almada for Argentina. Lovely stuff. Three changes to their starting lineup from the previous affair. And we are almost ready to get underway here. We're going to point the finger and say, we're on a good run. So, let's keep that going. That motivated a few people here. But we are finally... Ready to get underway. Chesterton in the 4-2-3-1. We got our 4-2-3-1. It's 4-1-1-3-1, really. And here we go. We are 22 points above Chesterton currently. And Chesterton get us underway. We're away. We're in the blue. They are in the red. Here's Frack with it. Third minute. Cookies. Cookie's going to take it himself. Cookie's with a good dribble. The defense backed off of him. Cookie's going to keep dribbling it. Cookie's still got it. Cookie's looking for the cross. Maybe Collins has stepped in. To put it out for a corner. Here's Sheamus. Whips this one in. Spaps could be there. And he's headed it over. Six minute. Park with the free kick. Over to Twinkle. Brindley. Back to Jack. Twinkle, all the way back to Brot. And now we build again. It's probably going to go over to, oh, he's going to go over the top. Snicky could get to that. Uh, they stopped the run. Why? Uh, Papadopoulos for Chesterton. Nothing's going to take what you've done to me. That's going to be Booted forward. Jack wins the header. Snicky. I came from an offsides position. So that'll be the end of that. Townsend in the seventh minute for Chesterton. Collins to Clark. Nick Jones. Northmore. <clears throat> back to Clark. Nick Jones again. For Clark. Looking for the searching ball to Craig, but Brindley heads it away. Cookies gives it to Spaps, and now we can come the other way. That is a terrible idea and pass, but Brindley still cuts it out. Kunikun's got it. That is a seeking ball for Sheamus. Sheamus, can he finish? No. Over the top. Here's Frack. Sheamus. Trying to knock the ball past. Oh, he's found a Kunikun. Really good touch from a Kunikun. Kunikun now here with the ball down low. He's going to have to cross it. He cuts, cuts it back. Snicky's got it. Snicky! And Papadopoulos saves it. 
Here's Nick Jones for Chester tending the 11th. Northmore back to Nick Jones. The cross comes in. Parks wins the header. He has to put it out for a corner. Nick Jones to take the corner. Whipped in low and Frack heads it away. O'Foury will come down with it. That's cut back out by Frack. Here comes Frack. Can he knock it on the other way? Frack for Spaps. Spaps. Over the top. That's a really good ball to Snicky. Snicky and Fang as he's, he's cut out. I, didn't, I don't know if that was an attempted pass, if the game glitched, but Fang got to it. Frack has it now. Over to Okonikun here on the left wing. Back for Twinkle, for Frack. Really good ball movement. Frack, Spaps, back post, unmarked, off the post, and cleared. <clears throat> Here's Brindley. Parks. Twinkle. Snicky. Brindley. Twinkle, going for Sheamus out on the left, runs out for a goal kick. Ah, so many opportunities all going to waste here. <clears throat> Here's Parks. Spaps, cookies, really good ball. It's deflected. That should be a corner, and it will be here in the 20th. She missed to take, or I'm sorry, Frack to take. This is whipped in. Clark gets ahead to it. Craig is going to head it clear. Northmore chasing it, but a Cunning could win some foot race. Gives it to Frack. Over to Ben Brindley. Twinkle. Snicky. Going through Snicky. Over the top. Papadopoulos gets us back underway here in the 21st minute. Header. Cookies heads it up. Warren's going to win it. Craig comes down with it. But he's headed it to nobody. So Frack gets it. It'll be Jack with it. Back for Frack. Inside for Sheamus. Sheamus now waiting for the overlap. It'll cut back inside for Akunikun. Akunikun's pass. Block, but it falls back to him. Find Spap on a ball across the pitch. Nicely done. Spap should have sent Parks, mate. He was begging to be sent down the line. Uh, Spap's in an offside position, but the ball, he's, well, there's no need for you to throw. You, there's no need for you to whistle the offsides because they're getting the throw anyway. But here's Fang for Collins. Back to Fang. Townsend goes over to Warren here for Craig. Cut out nicely by Ben Brindley. Spaps. Parks. Inside for Twinkle. All right, Twinkle, I don't know why he's trying to thread the needle. He still he launches one towards Sheamus. But it's cut out. Fang's booted this forward. Northmore gets to it. Settles for Twinkle. Ah, uh, clean shave it. But it's not clean. I have a stubble. But yeah, I, I had the barber take the beard off, Zig. Zig, you just beat you just missed our under 18s beating Macclesfield under 18s. 4 2. How'd Macclesfield do in IRL this weekend, by the way? So uh, but Macclesfield under 18s are actually doing really good in our save. They're like fourth in the, in the league. So that's lofted over. That's going to go wide, and it's going to be a throw in here for us. Real Mac thumped sh South Shields today, 5 0. Oh. Let's go, man. Uh, in this save, Macclesfield under 18s are fourth out of uh, 18 in the under 18s league. So they're doing good. Oh, it was the FA Cup game. Nice. Uh, what was it? Third qualifying round? FA Cup. FA Cup third qualifying round, right? I want to say it was third qualifying round. It might be the... It might... I. It might be the first qualifying round, actually. Here's a cross. Sneaky. Can he get... Can they get there? No. Set it over. So now you got me lo looking. Uh, so I was it was second qualifying round, five nil, nice. 
Ah, uh, so. Oh, what a ball. Maybe a little too wide, but Cookies will still run it down. Cross comes in. Snicky! Oh, Papadopoulos gets the save. <coughs> yeah, we... Um, in our save, Macclesfield under-18s are fourth in the league at an 18th. Macclesfield got promoted to Vanarama National. And he's offside. And uh, I thought he was offside. That's a really good save from Papadopoulos. And uh, they're currently... 21st, I think, in the Vanarama National. So they're 5, 10, and 8. Oh, Parks, you fucking idiot. Why would you foul him? Every time, Parks. Every time. Every time. So they're in the relegation spot, but they're fighting. There's a chance they stay up. <clears throat> Here's Northmore's free kick. Oh, that one's going to hit the back of the netting. It'll be out for a goal kick. Half time nil nil at the break. 1.59 XG and we fucking <sighs> I don't know. I think that's better. Because we did create a lot of chances. But Sheamus has been playing poorly. And he might be the first sub here. We're back underway with the second half. I mean, 1.59 XG, and we had fucking, we have nothing to show for it. So that's a foul. Parks, fuck sake, Parks. Here's Frack with the throwing. Shima's back for Frack. Twinkle. Whips it in. Spaps is there. Back post. Spaps. Off the post. in. Off the post. I thought it was going to go out. It's going in. Oh, that was by the finest of margins. I genuinely thought this was going to be off the post and out. Uh, that literally rode the goal line all the way over to the other side of the net. But I will take it. <clears throat> we are 1-0 to the good. Thank, thank you, Spaps. Holy moly. 1-0 to the good. And we could be on for our 13th straight. Which would be insane insane we're, we're on course for an absolutely unbelievable season here's frack over the top sneaky's gonna run that down he's gotta wait gotta wait for the all late reinforcements cookie goes from range and it's over well how you been spaps how's i'm sorry how you been zig how's your uh how's your weekend been how's your saturday been man hope you've been all right so I, mean, oh, I thought he was. I thought he almost slipped there. Uh, Johnson's had. That, I don't know. Brindley's gotten to that somehow. Brindley's having a hell of a game stepping up. You know, this is one of his few starts that he's going to get this season because of a suspension. And uh, oh, Johnson, they've tied it. Fuck's sake. He's off sides. He's off sides. Oh, I don't know about that, Chief. <laughs> <clears throat> He's level. Watch United win and listen to Mac win. United, outside of the first 30 minutes, United looked good. But those first 30 minutes were terrible. They looked awful. Um, but... Come on, boys. We almost feel like we need another one here. Spaps, that's a really good ball. Find Spaps on the right. Spaps with a cross. Sheamus is there. Clark heads it away. Oh, 
West Ham were awful. And somehow we got a point. Danny Ng stole us a point. Oh, that's going to fall to a Coney Coon. Cookies. Cookies goes for goal. And it's... It's over again. So four eight for Chesterton. Let's let's uh, let's uh, let's get Joe Jones on. Uh, it's a good save from Rot. Jones is going to come on, and Sean Warner, man who hasn't been able to been named for a while because we're only allowed really five subs on the bench. We're only allowed to make three subs. But Sean Warner is going to come back into the side. And he's going to get about 15 minutes of play time here. So. Oh, my God. Jack. Oh, that's a red card. Jack's off. That's dog. So. So. Great. Uh, what's going to have to happen is uh um where does frack play frack can't play center can warner, warner can't play center so now we've taken we've went 106 games without a red card now we've had we've had a red card in consecutive games um f fucking makes no sense Wellman will have to come in for Twinkle, I think. No, Wellman comes in for Cookies, and then he slots back here. Twinkle's going to go more center. Mid no, I don't want you. I want you. I mean, I guess you could, because these guys like to overlap. Twinkle doesn't play midfield though, so we'll we'll bring you bring come back defensive midfield, please. We'll slot Akonikun back, because Akonikun can play in the midfield. So. <clears throat> Fucking Jack, I swear to God. And we'll just play the two wingers so the ball can go wide. And we'll clog up the midfield so that we can offsides on Craig. So that we can continue to uh, try to try to see the game out here. Here's Papadopoulos, 79th minute. It's headed away. Oh, for, oh my God, Park! Stop fucking falling asleep, man. Twinkles had to come back to fight, contest that. Uh, I Benny, hope you're well. Doug God of Quack, I'm okay if I wasn't down to ten men, man, trying to hold on to a one 0 lead. Other than that, I'd be. I mean, West Ham also played like shit, but you know. God, they fucking scored. Fuck off. It's his first ever goal for Chesterton. Of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. Fuck your highlight. Uh, <clears throat> our 100% record looks like it's coming to an end here. 2. Point whatever it was, 2.1 xg practically, and we're gonna we're gonna draw 1-1 one, one, if we can even hold on to the draw. Uh, but. I'm doing okay. F football is probably going to be my the bane of my existence this weekend. West Ham looked awful. Still got a point, but they looked fucking terrible. The Union are going to lose tonight versus Miami. There's no other way around it. Like, fucking, it's Miami. And you didn't need to put that out for a corner. You can head that away. And um, we're, the Union are without their uh, goalkeeper. Their starting goalkeeper. <laughs> So we're probably going to have to start a 17-year-old kid in that who's good. He looks really good, but it's like he has to, you, you're asking a 17-year-old goalkeeper. To, he's off sides, mate. No, he's off. He's his way over. You're, Grimsby Town lost them. So happy and nice. I, the union are going to be asking a 17-year-old goalkeeper to play against Suarez and Messi and Busquets. Like, I don't think, I don't think tonight's game is going to go too well. Um, 
and then also uh, FM is F F FM BFM. -ing. Who the fuck is that too, Frack? We've had what 2.9, 2.09 xG, and 67% uh, possession, but we're 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 tied one one. So. Parks is out of energy, and he's on. And Sheamus is having a fucking dog shit game. I do need to bring in Joe Jones, and we'll make a sub and bring in Simon Roger McKenzie as well. Uh, John, Andy Johnson's offsides. <clears throat> maybe, just maybe, there's a chance. Maybe. Here's Spaps. On the right, gives it back to Parks. Parks. Tries to go center for Twinkle. Back for Wellman. Should switch the ball to the left. Plenty of space on the left. Wellman's going over the top for McKendy, who looks like he went too early, and he did. McKendy can't fucking stay on side. He's great. I love him, but he can't fucking stay on sides for the life of him. Like, holy shit, man. Time your runs, man. You've only been on this squad for six years. Like. Time your runs. So. Holding back to Papadopoulos. We're in the final minute of the 90 here. We're going to play four minutes of added time. I love how he's got a little angry face. Like, he's always oh, anxious. Yeah, he's anxious because he knows I'm about to fucking whoop his ass after this game's done. Uh, Twinkle, Jones, back to Wellman. I think the wages for a straight red is a week, too, so he's going to lose a week's wages. Uh, Mukendi's off sides again. Fuck's sake. Stay on sides, man. Duck God, you said Grimsby lost. That makes you happy. And I'm like, who are, who are you a fan of again? Who do you support again? Uh, I can't fucking remember. Who the f who who's Grimsby Town's rival? Who are Grimsby Town's rival? Ours. I don't like Grimsby Town and FM alone. Oh, from from. Oh, from FM and FM alone. Okay, fair enough. So, <clears throat> I don't think I have a team that I hate from FM. A Kony Oh fuck! What a save. That could have been it too. That could have been. That could have been a Steeler. A guy called Mark DeCock scored against me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Oh, come on. No, you guys got to track back, man. You can't let Murray just t take it the length of the field. Uh, Somebody stop him. Oh, oh, he's hit the bar. Jesus Christ. This, this is going to be the full-time whistle. This is going to be the full-time whistle. Well, that's it. The 100% record's over. Spaps in the 48th before Jack got sent off for Dogzo in the 74th. Townsend in the 79th scored from the corner, and it finishes 1-1. One, one. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, it was one of those days, but part of me wants to come here and be like, it may, like, bruh, like, bruh, you know what I mean? <clears throat> he wasn't unlucky to get sent off. He was a hundred percent. He deserved it. Like. He was a fucking idiot. He let this guy go past him, and then he, he pulled him back as the last defender. So he deserved to get sent off. I don't know what else to say. 
Um, but that is what it is. Uh, fucking. Oh, well. No sweet, sweet victory. It, we, we went 12 wins from 12. It's in game 13 that we falter. It's our first draw of the season. Um, we are we were 10 clear. It depends on what Norcross do. We could be only 8. We're still in the driver's seat. Don't get me wrong. but 8 points is a lot in football. But at the same time, it's also not a lot. I've seen crazy shit happen. So, like, I, I... Sports, to me, is always not... Like, I've seen a team with a six-game... Hello, Ben. Hello, Thomas. Tom, I'm okay. I'm not... Football's really agitating me this weekend. Uh, I don't know if you saw the West Ham game. Look at this result here. It's been brutal. Um, we didn't get any help in the end. AFC Einsdale, Southport and Einsdale. It's the Einsdale Derby. Smith for AFC Einsdale on the 24th before Lavery. I'm sorry, before Harkness four minutes later put AFC Einsdale 2-0 up. Lavery from the spot six minutes later pulled one back for Southport and Einsdale. They would go 2-1 down at the break. Lyle in the 84th leveled for Southport and Einsdale. They split the points. <clears throat> we drew 1-1. Uh, Dernan District under 21's burst golf dynamo. Uh, it was Smithies in the 35th uh, for Dernan District under 21's, but it would be burst golf dynamo who would release the hounds in stoppage time at the end of the second half. Beresford scoring there, and they finished 1 1. Norcross, Walmer Bridge, Toure in the 33rd before Iron the 43rd. And again, in stoppage time at the end of the first half, put Norcross 3-0 up at the break. Ashmore pulled one back for Walmer Bridge in the 60th, and another four minutes later via Burke. But they could not find the equalizing goal. Norcross do win. They do gain two points on us. So now we are only eight clear again. Uh, Staconians and Trafford United. Hofstetter. Um, here comes the... Uh, I was okay, but now I'm watching Chelsea and Sanchez give away stupid pen. Wait, there's a third... There's another game on? Benny, Bush, ben, Benny butchering English town names again. Where, where? Who? 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 Who the fuck? Who the fuck did I butcher? Who? Now you got me wondering. Anyway, Staconians, Trafford, United. Here comes the offs. Einsdale. Is it Ainsdale? Is that what it is? Is it Ainsdale? Ainsdale. Okay. So. Fucking Christ. Yeah, lucky Sanchez. Say, I didn't even realize it was not. I put the player question in Ian's FM saves discords for your future. Per Wait, what? What? I put the player in question in Ian's FM saves. Who's Ian? Who the fuck? Who do, who's Ian's FM saves? Oh, caffeine. Fucking Christ. It took me a minute. It took me a minute. Yeah, there's an 8 p.m. game. Born with child. I got to get it on. What? Mark DeCock from PSV. Oh, my God. You use light mode. Ah, oh, my eyes. Uh, immediate description is a wonder kid. I can barely read that. What does that say? Attacking midfielder, center, midfielder, center, striker. He's Belgian. Uh. Caffeine. Yeah, it took me a minute to figure out who Ian was. I was like, oh, caffeine, that's right. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, Humphreys in the 16th for Trafford United. Cotton in the 38th. They got 2 0 up. They were 2 0 up at the break. Hofstetter in the 63rd. Pulls one back. Staconians can't win. Trafford go up to tw uh, fourth. Literally three teams on 21. Um, and Walmer Bridge are down to fifth. AFC uh, Ainsdale are in the sixth. Burskoff did them out up to ninth. Dern and District under 21s. Out of relegation with that point, actually. Um, or, I'm sorry, out of relegation on... Where the hell are... Yeah, with the point versus Burskoff did them out. So they both dragged themselves out of relegation, actually. They both... They were both... Burskoff were 10th. Dern and District were 11th. They drew each other. They both dragged each other up the table one point for it. They push Manchester Saints Athletics down into 11th. So, um, 
<clears throat> but that's that. So, uh, but uh, fuck, where is the? Uh, oh well, Hiwa Kamosi, right? That was his name, right? I could have sworn that was it. Yeah. That was it. <clears throat> uh, anyway. Let me go back to that. Uh, those images you posted, by the way. Uh, it turns out we cannot mark something after this guy scored against. <laughs> I, love the, I love the biography, by the way, that you put. Mark DeCock is a well-known name for football fans across Europe. I bet he is for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> uh, we're not appealing the ban. Uh, the missile, yeah, he's he's being fined. Yeah, he's 100% being fined. Uh, Post-match press conference. Um, let's kick this off with the first question from Keenan Blake, Sporting Life. 21 match league winning run is over. I'm really proud of uh, use match to extend your unbeaten run. The team looks almost invincible. We're confident. Puns are suggested. Oh, fuck no. Uh, everyone's focused squarely on the task at hand. Twinkle was quality. Uh, uh, I don't really have an opinion on the match. I don't really have an opinion on the matter, okay? The referee was the center of attention today, sending on Jack. Did the officials get this one wrong? Uh, uh, the referee made the right call this time. I don't care if Keenan is fucking upset, negative. Oh, why won't you? Bitch, get out of my motherfucking press room. Um, I think we were away anyway, so maybe it wasn't. A, but still, <laughs> yeah, we we were away, so it's not even my press room. Uh, but uh, <laughs> fuck, whatever. Um, that's a sad way to end it. It is uh, the end of... All right, hold on. Before I go play that banger, um, because What's-His-Face scored, I'm going to play a different song. But let me end the YouTube video. So this was episode 107 of CLGFC on the YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you for the next episode. Till then, take care.